Hey everyone, it's Whitney from Butch Talk and I'm coming at you with a quick video. I wrote a very short poem about female masculinity and butchness, super short, and I wanted to share it with y'all. I am not a poet. <clears throat> there once was a young tomboy named Whitney who dreamed of expressing all her masculinity. She grew older and learned, sometimes you get burned, but those worth it embrace her butch beauty. It kind of sounds like something you would read to a little kid. I'm fine with that, but I wanted to put this out there because I've gotten some messages and I've gotten some comments on my videos, especially younger people struggling with expressing themselves, how they want to dress, how they want to be in front of either their parents or their friends. Just that nervousness of taking that first step, maybe until now like you've always dressed a little bit more girly or maybe not completely girly but like you're not dressing exactly how you want to dress or maybe your hair is still long I've totally been there it wasn't like super long ago when I had long hair down here and I've shared that in some of my other videos uh, that you can check out if you wish just know that like if there's people out there that give you a hard time for being you and tear you down or or say, oh, you look better with long hair or you look better when you're wearing a dress, you know what? I've learned in my life that the people that are worth having around and worth like hanging out with are the ones that are like, you're awesome just the way you are. Take that for what it's worth. I know it's really hard to get to that point. It took me a while. I wanted everyone to like everything about me and you can't do that. You cannot please everyone. You know, I wanted everyone to like my hair I wanted everyone to like the clothes I choose to wear, and you just can't. And I still, there's still people in my life today, um, some people of my family, that don't necessarily like, or they wish it was different, I would say. They don't necessarily hate the way I dress or my hair, but I, you know, you can tell when people wish, oh, I wish her hair was longer, I liked her hair longer, whatever. I think what you'll find is as you get older, it becomes less of an issue for you personally. Maybe not the people in your life, but you can't control that. That's what I've learned. Like, I can't control how anybody I run into, anybody I meet, is going to take me or, like, accept me. You know what I mean? So as long as you're accepting yourself, and even that takes time, you know? Like, you might at first be like, oh, I wish I was different, or I wish I looked different, or I wish, you know, I didn't want to dress this way, or I wish I didn't feel comfortable dressing this way. Um, it takes time, you know? It sucks that it does, and it blows that it can't just be fixed in, like, one instant. Um, it takes effort, you know? It takes work. It takes being around other people that are comfortable with themselves. So just a message from me to you. If you're going to take away anything from this video, just know you have a butch family out there that understands, um where you're coming from. We've all been there in some way. In the comments below, feel free to write your own poem, or if you have comments about things you've gone through, or how you've gotten to a place of accepting yourself and just feeling good about yourself, write them below. Other people like to read comments. I know I do, and hopefully we can help each other out. All right, hope y'all are having a good week, and I will see you next video. See ya. Bye.